Hi guys, you're on varam24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy A14. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can use tweezers to remove it. After that, we move on to removing the back cover and for this we can use a plastic tool or plastic film. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover in the area of the card tray and slide it along the back cover to detach. Always be careful in the area of the side buttons because in this area they are physically located and there runs the cable. Carefully run the tool along, unhooking the clips or hooks that hold the back cover. And we have opened the back cover. Turn it over and we can see that the cable is located inside. To disconnect the cable connector, we need to unscrew the screws and remove the cover hiding the motherboard. We can use a magnetizer to make it easier to unscrew and remove the screws. To unscrew the screws, we use a Phillips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 o We recommend placing the screws on a special surface in an easy to remember order so that you don't mix up anything when reassembling. Also, the screws may be non-magnetic in the area of the cameras, so we should pay attention to this. And after removing the screws, we move on to detaching the cover. As we can see, the cover has a small indentation on the side. We use a non-metal tool to pry it off and remove the cover. Then, also with a non-metal tool, we disconnect the battery connector. In our case, it is tweezers with the ceramic tips. And we can disconnect the side buttons cable connector and remove the back cover. We also can disconnect the cable connectors to the display. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5 mm. The screws seemingly are all the same but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in a convenient to memorize order for assembly.
and we can detach the cover with a speaker. The cover also has a small indentation on the edge. Hook it in this place and carefully detach the cover. Inside we see the speaker. Then we disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and the connector of the coaxial cable. After that we hook the subboard near the plastic hook and carefully detach it. By the way, the subboard is slightly recessed into the display frame. On the subboard we have a charging port, microphone and a headphone jack port. In the display frame we have the vibration motor. And we move on to detaching the cameras. Carefully hook the connectors, at the same moment hold the body of the cameras so that the cameras do not fly off and nothing is damaged, for example, the lens. And we can remove the front camera. We can carefully disconnect the coaxial cable connector. And we move on to detaching the printed circuit board. Find a convenient place, hook it by the edge, lift and remove the motherboard. And finally we move on to detaching the battery. We have the three narrow tabs with a letter A that we need to unwrap. These hold the battery and the white blue tab with a B letter on it that we will be pulling on. With one hand we hold the display frame and with other hand we gently pull up the blue tab, detaching the battery. As we can see, the battery is also held on the transparent protective coating that protects the display frame. So this is the end of our disassembly, thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.